Well, it stands 55 feet tall, weighs three tons, and is back in Baltimore. <laughs> We've been talking about it all morning, the giant Whirligig outside the American Visionary Art Museum. Yeah, let's go back out live to Marty Bass with more on the reinstallation. Hi, Marty. Well, hello, everyone. And again, I hope you're doing great. Rebecca Hoffberger, director of the American Visionary Art Museum. Bob Little, uh, senior art handler. Senior art handler. You oversaw the restoration of the Whirly Gig. We're just going to let K2 do K2 and show you this Whirly Gig as you've never seen it. We're on the balcony of the cafe, third third floor here at the Visionary. Yes, and named after Vallis. Vallis and Gene Simpson, because what could be better than Vallis Simpson's Whirly Gig? You were telling me, Bob, that the pole it sits on he it was an old Exxon gas station pole. That's correct. <clears throat> they, well, you'd see off of like I-95. Exactly, or yeah. Just originally had a big advertising sign so people could find the gas station. And somewhere along the line, they hired Vallis to take it down. He said, I can keep that. I can use yep. that. And the truss along the top of it. That's uh, from an industrial loom that came out of a factory that uh, he had done some moving work in. And we're getting a little bit of a breeze now, so you can see it actually moving. That's why I ask you, how do you oil that thing? There has to be some lubrication. There's different parts that get different things. Some of them uh, actually have grease fittings that we can put in like you do in any kind of mechanical equipment. Some of them are a much more low-tech solution where there's just an axle or a rod inside a pipe. And so we rent a bucket lift uh, once a year and come up and do kind of routine maintenance on it. Incredible. You were telling me at night it's a whole different experience. Oh, yeah. Because of all the reflectors, it's like, uh, you know, in his fields, they used to look like a, a UFO landed when you put your headlights on them or a strobe light, which is his favorite. Uh, because of all the reflectors, you don't see the heart, you don't see the structure, you just see the reflectors dancing in the wind at all different, you know, speeds. We were fortunate enough, my, my wife and our kids and myself to go down to Bollis's workshop, the field that you're talking about. The local kids called it Acid Park because of the reflectors at night. No, well, they really did. And that whirly gig here, it was one of the smaller ones. He has some that are massive. Well, this was the biggest that he had made at that time, for sure. But there are, and go down to Wilson. Now there's a whirly gig park there that did a lot of the uh, restoration under Bob's careful eye. And because of the Maryland State Arts Council, we were able to afford to do it. Shout out Maryland State Absolutely. Arts Council because this was a six-figure project. Hey, speaking of shout out, your fiance's watching us from Santiago, Chile. That's correct. <laughs> Thanks to the internet. That is. <laughs> well, go ahead and go ahead and blow her a big date. No, do a big dating game kiss. <laughs> there you go. Alvaro, Alvaro, and, yes. and before we leave, a special presentation. Okay, this is an original oh. <laughs> really gig hat from our opening in Thanksgiving. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, to all you have done. Oh. Oh my gosh. Thank you so, so much. Put that on. <laughs> I'm going to have to put it on. Tomorrow. Beanie and Cecil. Right. <laughs> now I want you to give her the dating game yeah. kiss. Yeah. Now you still want to marry him? What a deal. Yeah. Rebecca, thank you so much for thank all you. you've done for the arts in the city of Baltimore. Congratulations on a thank successful you, reinstallation. We're live at the American Visionary Art Museum. And it's always our pleasure to be here on Key Highway. Back to you.